I'm just out here in the paddock that the cows are going to be grazing next. They're going to be coming in here tomorrow. Um, we're getting into the time of year where grass is getting into the reproductive phase. That means it's going to start getting stemmy. It's going to start going to seed and heading out is what we call it. So we want to try to keep the grass nice and leafy and lush. And that means it's more digestible. The cows will produce better off it. And it's easier for the the cows to achieve the residual we want when the cows come in and graze we want them to take off all the available grass so where it's getting at the moment because it's starting to shoot out and that grass is getting and it's getting stemmy cows aren't going to graze that down we're not going to get the residual we really want and the the quality of the grass will deteriorate as a, with, with each rotation now if they're not getting a good residual if we don't think they're going to be able to achieve the residual if there's going to be a lot of stemmy stuff left over we have three options if we have lots of grass we can take it out and we can make silage out of it so we are, we are we'll be doing that with some of our paddocks and if we don't have enough surplus so like at the moment we've taken out some paddocks already but we also want to clear this one up but we can't take it out we can't take them all out so we have two options then is let the cows in and graze it come in after and top it or else what we're doing here today we have the mower down there as he's mowing it now and the cows will come in and graze it tomorrow so we we'll just cut the grass and they'll just graze it off the ground and then we know it'll be nice leafy grass will come back again in the next rotation it'll be lovely what we call after grass after it's been cut real leafy grass be really good quality So you can see in this paddock here, um, the cows were in here yesterday. So looking across the field, it's kind of harder to see always grass on camera. But the, you know, there's a, obviously a lot of dung pads. That's where the cows would have, would have uh, dung and urine before. And the grass is just a lot stronger because there's more nutrients in that spot. So they don't really want to eat that down. But we get a lot of, there's a lot more salmon stuff will be coming through particularly in those dung pads see that you can see there's bits of things there the cows aren't going to eat them it's all grazed like this you know nice so in the next rotation we will pre-mow this field so that uh, it gets a proper clean out it's cleaned out well and then the following rotation it will be high quality uh, i don't want to go in topping it now um, because the green growths have already kind of started so i don't want to be hindering the growth by by hitting them Plus, I don't have a topper, yeah, but it's been, it's been wet. Ground conditions are still quite wet. Uh, we've had to go around a few wet spots in the last field that we can't pre-mow. Now we're trying to go in and just uh, keep ahead of it, pre-mow some of the fields to keep that quality good in the next rotation. The girls are out grazing here. So a bit of semi stuff in this field as well. I thought it looked a bit cleaner. You can still see like that's a dung pad there, but just a bit of stem in that. And even out here where they will graze it down, bits of stem there. So we'll probably be pre-mowing this the next time as well. The conditions being so wet, it hasn't really been an option to pre-mow yet because just haven't been able to travel in the field. So 
uh, we're going to get ahead of the cows now and start making sure that grass quality is good in the next rotation. Anything that's, that we don't think they'll get the residual this time, we'll probably primo and uh, they should get, it'll, it'll be nice lush grass next rotation. Listen to that sound. I'd love to hear. Happy cows out grazing. Happy girls. Yeah. So I'm just in the calf sheds here, just tidying up some of the, the milk bar feeders that we use for feeding the milk. Uh, what I'm doing is just throwing them up in a pallet stack them too high upside down and I put one of these meal bags over them just to keep the dust off them. and we can pick them up with the JCB if you want to move them around and uh, just keeps them a bit cleaner makes it easier to clean up when we go to use them again next year The meal bags work pretty good, they fit perfectly over two feeders. So the contractor's back again today, he's pre-mowing the next fields. We're not going to be pre-mowing all of the fields, we're just doing the ones we think they need to be done. So as I say, we took out a few for, for silage already, and we'll do, we have three or four earmarked at the moment, uh, and we'll just pick them out as we go. There will be some that probably won't be done until the next rotation, but generally throughout the year, Every field gets, or most of the fields, will get cut at least once, whether it was for bales or for or their primo. Just going to be heading in for lunch there shortly, and afterwards, when I come out, I'll uh, I'll go out and show you the cows grazing the the primo stuff that we the mowed yesterday. Cover is a little bit higher on this field. Might have been around uh, three thousand, I'd say. just down in the field that we pre-mowed yesterday so the cows are in here today they actually came down uh, they were kind of finished where they were earlier where they were last night earlier today and uh, they came down then they got a bit of this field for milking you can see this is where the wire we had split it so they still have some for tonight and you can see most of the grass nearly all the grass gone there and this is where they are at the moment I'd say they'll be finished here now tonight. They, they'll be here tonight. They'll be finished this in the morning and they'll be moving on then to the one we were mowing earlier today. That's ready to go for them. So they'll be there tomorrow. So you can so, see they're grazing away. They're picking up the grass that's been cut and they'll actually take a bit of a bite out of areas of the grass that aren't cut as tight with the mower. Because often cows will graze lower than the moor will will cut so in some spots the ground's a bit uneven you can see the cows actually grazing there the the uncut grass like this one here you can see it's a little bit greener there just to 
way the ground is moving there's a bit more green there so they're still eating that you can see these couple of cows here also just eating the loose grass so to see really nice lush grass coming back now in the next rotation i'll try and uh if i remember i'll try and show you the cows coming into this paddock when when in another three weeks or so when they're back to come graze here again i'll show you what the grass is like in another video So just a quick look at where the cows were last night, so where they were earlier in the video. Look, they're really happy, they, they, I think they did a very good job, got a very good residual. Uh, it actually looks better on camera. Uh, you can't see really see the dung pads at all, although the dung pads are, the bites gone out of them as well, so they're quite disguised, but I think a very good residual there, that probably won't need to be, need to be touched in the, in the next rotation we'll see what it's looking like coming into grazing next time but better than the field next next door that we also looked at that that paddock there we'll probably want something done the next time whether we primo it or whether we are able to take it out as bales not sure yet we won't know until it comes around to then that's all for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it uh, i got some exciting videos coming up we're going to be cutting their silage yet you probably heard me mention we took out some some fields already we've taken them out of the of grazing but we haven't cut them yet so we will be cutting silage soon um in the next few days so that's going to be a big exciting it's a lot later than it has been before we're in june now normally it's in mid to late may we're cutting so but this year it's just been so weird with the weather it's been wet cutting there soon in the next few days some good videos coming out to so make sure to stay tuned and see them also have something exciting come coming uh a new addition to the farm I won't give any clues. If you want to guess, drop it in the comments below. You'll see in some upcoming videos. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.